Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, then it's just your favorite YouTuber. I ended up stopping over at Jewel this morning because I wanted to make a yogurt parfait. I have been loving these like yogurt parfait balls and I ran out of granola and I needed some more fresh fruit. So I ran over to Jewel to get that. And when I was there, they had this apple cider vinegar. It's a refresher and it's apple cinnamon and I kind of wanted to taste it. I'm not a fan of apple cider vinegar at all, but since it said that it's a refresher, I figured it might be kind of good. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's kind of good. Oh, I need to wipe my camera off. Hold on. This is my first time ever even hearing about an apple cider vinegar refresher. So, ooh, it smells like apple cider vinegar. It's not bad, but it's not really good. It's just, I don't know. It just tastes like apple cider vinegar and cinnamon. It's two servings per bottle. So I think I'm going to pour myself like a cup, put it over ice and drink that. Anyway, back to my little yogurt parfait. I feel like I should have put some fruit in the middle and here's why. If you guys decide to make this get the trader joe's peanut butter when i tell you it is the best by far the best peanut butter ever it's so good especially for something like this because it's extra creamy so good i'm gonna sit here finish my parfait and i'll tap in with you guys a little bit <laughs> youtube just sent a notification over that today is my channel's birthday it's pretty it's pretty freaking dope I am on a sunglass kick. I've been ordering aviator sunglasses like crazy. But you guys, I have to show y'all these. Like, hold on, can we just for a moment? And can we just talk about the quality though? Like the quality of these sunglasses. I wanna say these are Bottega dupes. I'm not too sure, but I think Bottega has some like these. Super, super chic. And just, I know exactly how I want to style these. They're just so good. I'm gonna have these linked in my Amazon storefront. They're also polarized. I feel like a lot of my sunglasses these days have been polarized, but I'm gonna have these linked in my Amazon storefront. I've really been into the aviator sunglasses lately. I don't really know why. I've never really been into aviator glasses, but lately 
I've been loving them. So I just ordered a bunch of different sunglasses. They're all linked to my Amazon storefront and they're all roughly about like $15 and under. So do with that what you will. Um, I also wanted to show you guys some stuff. I'm gonna put my blue light glasses back on cause I'm gonna hang out in my office for a little bit. But I wanted to show you guys, I got a bunch of different PR packages over the last few days. I'm like, I've been getting so much PR and I've kind of been putting together a bin of different products cause I wanna do a giveaway. But I got some stuff from Nude Sticks. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, how did I get in their PR list? I don't even remember being added to their list, but it's the Nude Screen Everyday Blush Tint. Okay. Oh, it's a whole... Oh, it gives like a... Wait. Oh, snaps. Okay. I'm going to open this. So they sent this box says nude sticks on the front and i've never tried anything from nude sticks so this will be my first first time getting anything from them and look at that wow these are all pretty it says 100 percent mineral spf 30 it's a nude screen blush tint um we got the color we got strawberry sunburst i feel like it's showing up more red on camera well yeah it's like a it's like an orange red a bright orange red and then this one is sunset rose pink sunrise peaches and soul sunkissed so pretty for cheeks eyes and lips i love products that are multi-use i feel like it just makes it so much easier especially for every day so I'm excited to try this one on my lips, honestly. I think that'll be really, really pretty. But yeah, thank you, New Sticks, for sending that over to me. That's so sweet. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you guys, I also got a package yesterday, but I wasn't vlogging, um, from Tatcha, y'all. I have been added to Tatcha's PR list. I low-key screamed when I saw this because I was just so excited, but they sent over, it's the Matcha Cleanse. I use their cleanser, the rice wash cleanser. So this will be my first time trying this one, but love that. And then the liquid silk canvas. I have this, I use this <laughs> for my makeup. So they sent me one of these. And then the water cream moisturizer. They also sent me, I, I've had this before, so this will be my second time having this, but um, it's the Kiss You, is it the Kiss You? Lip, the Kiss You Lip Mask. And then the package also came with hair clips. I was so excited about this. <laughs> Thank you, Tatcha. And then I forgot to show you guys another product. I mean, another PR box that I got a little while ago. And I can show it to you now while we're on the subject. So I got this from Lancome. The Lancome and Mary Phillips collab. They sent over the Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Foundation, which this one is the Karen Glow. The Lancome Tinty Doll is one of my favorite foundations ever. Let me see. It says up to 24 hours healthy glow skincare foundation. I'm actually going to take that out because I want to try using that today. And then I have, we have the Tinty Doll Ultra Wear All Over Foundation. I use this in a TikTok, I was going to say TikTok reel, but a TikTok video and a reel. And um, I already had this product, so I just used the one that I already had, but they sent me a backup. And then the Juicy Tubes, I still use these. I keep these, I keep one in my purse and one in my bathroom. But this one here, I'll show you guys the color really quick, because it's a very pretty light pink, which is my favorite gloss to use, like a light pink color gloss. That's so pretty, I'm gonna keep that out, because I'm gonna put that down there. They sent over their mascara. Lancome has some really good mascara. I'm actually gonna take this out too because I think I'm gonna use that today. This is probably my top favorite liquid eyeliner. The only thing is it is waterproof, so it's gonna stay. I already have this, but it's the Lancome Genifique <laughs> Serum. I already have one of these, so I might do, like put this in a giveaway box so I can gift it to one of you guys. They also sent me little sample bottles of sunscreen. Thank you to the people over at Lancome for sending that to me because 
Chef's Kiss. Their products are incredible. I have loved Lancome for the longest. And then another product that I got that I forgot to show y'all. I haven't even taken it out of the box because I'm just now going through all of my PR boxes and things. But The Ordinary sent me their um, hyaluronic acid. They redid it and the formula is different now. So they sent over a new one and then they also sent me a water bottle. Like how cool is that? I actually need to take this out of here but you know what i think i'm gonna do a tiktok or should i even do a tiktok because i heard they passed the bill to ban tiktok <laughs> so would it be a waste of effort to try to create a tiktok video right now anyway thank you thank you thank you thank you to the ordinary for sending this over i'm gonna go through all of my pr boxes because i have a bunch in here might do a tiktok video just showing all my products and then I'm going to start getting ready because today is my friend Dominique's birthday and she's having dinner at Ruth Chris, just like something small with all of us or a few of us are going to go out for her birthday. So I might start getting ready in a little bit. I really want to do my like makeup today. I really want to do like a full glam makeup look today and I was going to film a TikTok and an Instagram reel. I also scheduled my hair appointment, so I'm gonna go and get my hair done next week. I'll bring you guys along for it when I go, but y'all, look. And the weather has been beautiful out, so I'm like also wanting to like go outside for a little bit, but I need to organize <laughs> and get my house together, cause or just like get my office together, cause I feel like my office just gets, it's not a mess, but it's, I have a bunch of boxes and stuff. I need to break down some boxes, go through this PR stuff, clear some stuff out. So yeah, and then I wanna sit down and just do my makeup. I'm gonna do a TikTok and an Instagram reel, and then I would like start getting ready and stuff, but I kind of, like I feel like my hair is so flat. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. I think the next time that I go and get my hair done, I'm probably gonna leave more hair out on the side so that I can do like a high bun. With my hair uh like different hair like hairstyles with a high bun i think that'll be really cute and just help me to like switch it up instead of always wearing my hair down or just wearing like a headband but yeah so let me get my office in order and then we'll start getting ready in a little bit i guess of course my battery is on five percent hold on let me go get my other battery It looks like it's about to start raining, but I just got two packages in. This one is from Peak. They reached out and wanted to send me some stuff. So I'm gonna open that up, but I also got a package from Amazon. Um, it's actually a light that I want to go up over that photo, that photo photo that I have on the wall or that artwork that I have up there on the wall so I'm gonna see if that looks right but they sent me this is a beauty electrolyte and then this one is the sun goddess matcha green tea I'm gonna give these a try I might try this one out today and then um, try this one tomorrow because I've already had my coffee for the day and a few of you guys were <laughs> kind of checking me in the last vlog which you guys were 100% right I'm not mad about it at all but basically I was telling y'all how my sleep has been hasn't been the greatest or it wasn't the best over the last week and a few of you guys were commenting like the coffee you need to cut the coffee which yeah because when I was watching the vlog back I realized I'm like I drink a ton of coffee like, like I'm drinking way more coffee than I anything else not water like I drink a lot of water but I also drink a lot of coffee and um it's just not good like I can limit myself to one cup a day like what do I need all that coffee for having a caffeine addiction is not for the week and I'm complaining about like not eating and stuff when I'm consuming so much caffeine every day so I have been back to just one cup a day let me 
pull this out i wanted to get a light that was i wanted it to be more bronzy this one is their bronze one. Oh shoot how did i turn that on oh it's a tap gotcha okay but i wanted it to be more of a bronze color i know it looks sort of like black on camera but just because the photo over here like the frame is brown um and it also has like specks of gold but then i just didn't want it to clash too much with my house like i have my brown which hold on let me show you so over here i have my um, media console which is dark brown wood it has the gold little um accent pieces for the handles but the kitchen which when you have an open layout like this it's a bit harder because if all the hardware isn't the same then you know it could start to look a bit messy which i'm not going to change anything i'm just renting this house i did not buy it so um i'm not going to put any effort into changing a lot of the stuff that they have in here so i was thinking about getting a gold one but i decided on the darker one and i'm hoping that it looks right because the um lights in the kitchen have that like dark they're actually matte black so i didn't want to go too light and then we have silver and yeah anyway but a lot of the pieces that i have in the house a lot of the hardware that i have in the house is darker to kind of flow with the rest of the house but this um chandelier over here is a sort of like bronzy color as well but the knobs and stuff in the kitchen which i know i can change all that but it's they're silver so um anyway i might change this picture i haven't decided yet but i need to see about this light because i just wanted to like put it up here and sort of give this space something else because i feel like just having this artwork here is just not cutting it so i'm probably gonna have to call my uncle and see if he can come over and help me with this honestly this is why my uncle always gets so irritated with me because i always put stuff up like i always try to hang things that he would rather do for me so if you guys look closely it's a little bit off center <laughs> it's a little bit off center but i am so impatient like i will when something comes in i'll be like if i feel like i can do it then i try to do it myself but yeah he has a lever and like all the tools and everything that is needed to be able to like hang it the right way but i'm just impatient so i hung it anyway and it doesn't look too bad with the dark color just because of this um like the lights and everything in the house but i don't like how warm the light is but it does come with this remote and it also comes with a charger um so let me see so you can like let me turn this light off too I'm gonna turn the kitchen light off so I can show you guys but I feel like at night this is really gonna be a vibe but you can make it brighter and you can dim it I kind of like that let's see what it looks like from behind me not bad but I think I might I think what I might do is change the artwork, but we're not doing that anytime soon. So this is what we're left with, but it, it doesn't look bad. So I like it. I'll have the light link down below for you guys. And I also have these little um, ports, like USB ports in my kitchen. So I can charge the light whenever I need to, which I think is pretty cool. I'm probably gonna charge it up to I was gonna say to the night. I'm probably gonna charge it up tonight um, or today so that I can have it on tonight and just kind of set the mood in the house and get it nice and vibey in here because what is going on? Also, I just turned the light up a little bit and it's actually not too far off from the kitchen light. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but yeah, I kind of like it. I don't know if this photo is going to stay like the artwork is probably going to change 
when I can get my hands on a piece of art that I love as much as this piece. I really like this piece. The only thing is I wish it was a little bit bigger, maybe. Maybe just a little bit longer. I don't know. But yeah, this is what we have for now. So not bad. It is nice and gloomy outside. It's about 70 degrees today, you guys. That is unheard of for this time of year in Chicago, but it's about 70 degrees. Um, it's supposed to rain, so it is very gloomy outside. I'm just, oh, ow. I'm just gonna light candles in the house and I'm gonna start making dinner. It's about four o'clock, Leah is not done with practice yet she doesn't have to be picked up for another hour so i'm gonna start i already like prepped everything so i'm gonna start making what am i doing what what am i doing i'm gonna start making dinner i'm just gonna light some candles i think i told you guys or i've been telling you guys that i have been ever since i went to my doctor's appointment and my doctor basically said that I'm like deficient in every single vitamin that there is. I decided because basically I, we were having the conversation about like everything that I'm lacking. I was telling my doctor that I am just pescatarian and I only eat shrimp and salmon mainly. And um, it's been a hassle like trying to keep up with like getting my protein in every day. And then it doesn't help that I consume a lot of coffee and I'm not eating as much as I should but it's more so because I feel limited with what I can eat and so I made the decision to pause uh, my pescatarian lifestyle more so for like health reasons it's not to say that I'm going to be eating a ton of meat and stuff every day but it's just the fact that like I really need protein and granted yes I could just keep eating salmon and stuff but honestly you guys like I started to get very bored with you know just eating like fish all the time um i'm not like super knowledgeable in like the whole vegetarian or vegan lifestyle and i don't even know if that's what i even want to do anymore so i have decided to go back to eating meat just for like health reasons um but anyway i say all that to say because i'm about to make dinner and i just thought out some meat and i'm gonna make lemon pepper wings and mac and cheese it's so funny because the other day we went to the store and um or actually the other day i did a grocery order and we got velveta mac and cheese Lil was like oh my god are we gonna have a real black people dinner and i was like girl but she's not wrong though because when i was growing up my mom made chicken and mac and cheese all the time we would even throw in some cornbread i could do some broccoli too which i I'm low-key mad that I forgot to grab broccoli this morning, but this is a real black people dinner, okay? And well, per Leia. So I'm gonna make some lemon pepper wings and macaroni. I'm trying to find this video that we watched this one TikTok on how to make the lemon pepper wings in the air fryer. Leia said they were really good. So I'm trying to find that video again. When I posted it on my Instagram account, a lot of you guys were DMing me asking me for the link to the recipe. So I'm going to try to find it and link it for you guys. But we are gonna make that for dinner. And yeah, so let's get started because I have to pick Leia up in a little bit. And at least if I have the wings done and boil the noodles. One thing that I love is on nice days when I smell barbecue outside. Love that.
already tried it and it is fire. So I'll have the recipe, like things that I did or th the ingredients that I added on the screen. I just eyeballed everything. Could not find the TikTok that I was telling you guys about, but I cooked it for a total of 25 minutes and just flipped it halfway through. Um, what else did I do? And I cooked it on 400 degrees. So here's the chicken. Let me zoom in. Some parts look burnt, but I promise y'all, like, no. It's fire. <laughs> I'm gonna go and pick up Leah from school. She just finished practice. They did ice baths today, so um, I'm picking her up a little bit later than I anticipated. So I'm gonna go and get her. She has tumbling at 7.30, so I'm trying to see how I'm gonna be able to go to my friend's birthday dinner and also like take Leah to tumbling and pick her up. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. We just finished eating and when I tell y'all, I cannot believe how much I missed eating chicken. So I made like two separate batches. I tried a little flat from the first batch just to make sure that I wouldn't get sick. And I waited like 35, 40 minutes. And then um, for the rest of the chicken and stuff to be done, I went and got Leia. And then I just ate and I feel fine. So I'm just gonna like monitor myself for a little bit. But yeah, I feel fine. I don't feel crazy or anything like that. but. I am about to get ready so that I can go to stop over at my friend's birthday dinner. I was gonna film and like do my makeup and all that, but honestly, I'm just not up for it. So I'm just gonna like pull myself together a little bit and then head over there. But at Leah's school today, they were selling bunt cakes. Red velvet is my absolute favorite bunt cake. And it was slammed around all in her backpack. I had it for like half the day. Oh, it's not even focused. Okay, there we go. So, I want to have just like a forkful of oh, this as like a little I tried, dessert. I tried to do that. You won't stop. Oh really? No, you won't. You won't stop. Like. What do you mean? Just have a little bit? No, like I tried. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a little bite. A little bite. I ate the whole thing. Oh, I struggled to open one. But even though I'm going to the dinner, I'm probably not gonna eat there. Cause I knew that I was gonna eat. I knew I was gonna eat at home, like once I cooked. The biggest debate today was red velvet or funfetti. Okay, I'm just gonna have a forkful. Mm -mm. You're not gonna stop. Cause I tried that. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, one more. Mm-hmm. But I'm not really hungry. So I, just I wasn't ate. hungry either. And I demolished it. Wow. So good. It's so moist. Might be my dad. Oh, is that your phone? The phone's ringing? Mm. My phone is. I'm rushing to get out of here, but I just threw on something quick. I just have on this jumpsuit from Naked Wardrobe. I've had it for a few years. It's like a spaghetti strap. And then this jacket, I don't even know if you guys can even see me, but this jacket is from Zara. I've had it for a few years also. I'm just wearing my YSL hobo bag. <sighs> I need to breathe. And then um, I have on this headband because my hair is just not, just not it. And then I just did a really quick makeup look tonight. My fragrance is, um, what is it? Vanilla Woods by Seven Virtues and Madagascar Vanilla by nest the oil i'm wearing gold accessories keeping it very simple and yeah so i will see you guys once i get to the dinner i realized i didn't really show y'all my makeup at all that i did but it's nothing that I haven't showed you guys before, but the main thing was my mascara. I don't know if y'all can see, but my lashes are growing. Like, Leah was like, what have you been doing to your lashes? Your lashes have grown so much. And I've been using castor oil. So if you're trying to get your lashes thickened up and grown out, put some castor oil. Let me see if I can... I don't know if y'all can even really see them, but... 
castor oil babe I'm gonna link some in my Amazon storefront and I'll have a link down below the one that I use and I've been using it on my eyebrows my lashes I've been using it under my eyes and on my eyelids also y'all know that I use um, eye cream during the day but like at night I've been using castor oil and I feel like it's been working but let me put my camera down before someone pulls up on the side of me and catches me <laughs> Thursday, you were born in there? Or if I was you, I'd be doing this. No, no, I can't. And then the, wait, wait, do it again. Cheers to the, cheers to the vlog. <laughs> and then this one, her birthday is coming up. And then this one, her birthday just passed. This one, she just, she, she, I'm had, just here. she had where I'm at. Period. <laughs> Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. right. My camera down. I was trying to wait on Buzz. So okay. we could see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. I'm not recording this app on Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Nikki Ray. Happy birthday to you. Send me that shit. Oh, I can't cross the phone now. She said, Yeah, I had it like. Juanita said, Send me that. Juanita said, Send me that. Like, this isn't my camera. This is my camera. You had a screen before at the vlog last year, and it was cute. Wait. Wait. Muff said, Muff said, You better screen record the vlog. He's sending this to you. That's exactly what I'm doing. Whenever we go out, we can never separate. So now we're about to get. Now we're about to get in the car. Now we're about to get in the car so we can talk before we all have to separate. And wait. And with, the, with the booster seats. What the fuck? With the car seats. With the booster seats. Why need to turn the radio down? I probably was jamming to some music. Hold on, let me turn the vlog off. Good morning. What's that? Piece of hair. Good morning. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. <laughs> Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty Silver green outside, see? You're not gonna want to go out there I was lost in a sudden Sucker punch, I don't stop Told myself I would always tell the line Tripped on
Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another day in the vlog. So the last time that I vlogged was last night when I got in the car with my friends. We hung out for about 30 minutes after uh, the dinner and then we all just like parted ways. I came home, took my shower, did my skincare and went to bed. Also, I just wanna mention, if you haven't already started using castor oil, I think I said this already yesterday, but using castor oil for your under eye at night, total game changer, okay? Total, total game changer. I've started using it and I just noticed like my under eye area, especially if you're someone who has like, sometimes like my under eye area will be like, get like a bit flaky, especially in the winter time. Y'all, castor oil, I, I have no like I have no flakes whatsoever. I actually just got up this morning and I use this um this solar wave light. It has like a they're like vibrations. Um they sent this to me the other day and I started using it and they also sent this and it's a hyaluronic acid ionic mineral complex. It's an activating serum which you use the two together yeah i'm just trying it out so i won't really give you guys a i can't really give you guys a review or tell you how i feel about it because i just recently started using it so there's that but i wanted to use that this morning i was telling you guys last week how my skin was freaking out this week much better much better uh blemishes are clearing up all is well on this end in the skin department skin is back skinning and i'm so happy about it but i got up this morning kind of straightened up the house got everything together it was raining this morning so that sort of put a dent in my plans i really wanted to go to the gym at like 5 45 but with the rain and everything i was like no i slept in it felt so good uh to do so <laughs> so this morning i just got up and got the house together um pulled myself together a little bit and then i was doing a little bit of work on my laptop kind of responding to some emails and things like that and then what else oh i made myself a i made myself a protein shake i also have been back using my greens blend um just to make sure that i'm getting like greens in even if i'm not eating them what baby what What's the matter? I was telling you guys how I got the book, This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. I also told you guys that I really wanted to do a book club, like a bombshells book club with you guys. So I saw a few of you guys say that you would be interested in doing that. So if you don't follow me on, in what was I gonna say? I wanted to say Instagram, but I was about to say interested or something like that, I don't know. But if you um, don't follow me on Instagram, then you should because i will be posting details over on my instagram as well as in my i might post some things in my community tab also now that i think about it because i think a few of you guys told me that you don't have instagram or you don't use it i definitely want to do the book club i have to get set on a date i'm thinking it'll be toward the end of the month so just be on the lookout for that i really do want to do the book club the zoom book club i think that would be so much fun take everyone back to like the quarantine days with the um zoom <laughs> book club we'll do it sometime around the end of march i'm so excited to put some faces with the names i see a lot of the same comments pop up on my youtube videos like in the comments and things like that so and and then a lot of you guys follow me on instagram and if your name is the same then i can put the name with the instagram but sometimes i don't know some of the times when you guys will leave comments i'll click on your photo on your youtube profile and i can like put some faces to names and you guys are always so beautiful i'm like just so many gorgeous girls follow me i love that but um yeah so Anyway, that's just the update. That's what we're up to this morning. I'm not really doing much of anything. I'm really just hanging out in the house. I'm probably gonna take my little boy for a walk in a little bit. It was raining this morning, so it's wet out. It's always so difficult getting him on a walk whenever it is wet, so I know that's gonna be a bit of a hassle. But like I said, I don't have much going on today. I'm gonna hang out in the house, probably start editing this video. I wanna film a TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, I've been seeing a lot of conversation about like the tiktok ban a lot of people have been posting their think pieces so i've been like watching those <laughs> this morning anyway like i said milo and i are gonna go for a quick little walk i'm gonna come home hang out for a little bit and then i'm probably gonna make myself a little breakfast i'm thinking avocado toast and an egg this morning sounds divine so i think that's what we'll do but yeah like i said good morning welcome to another day in the vlog and if you've made it this far, make sure that you are subscribed because we would love to have you. 
And yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. He's like staring at me. You're so cute. Why are you so cute? Like, hello? <laughs> Look what mom has for you. Okay, you can't do that. You have to sit. Good boy. Look what mommy has for you. <gasps> mom has to. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, sit. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> Oh, okay, just got a package in from Valentino Beauty and their packaging is always so 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 pretty but um Leah wants to open it so you can't show my shirt okay it doesn't blush and eyeshadow Ooh. let me open it okay I'm keep this box. I'm pretty sure I can use this one. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. And you click it, I think, right? Mm hmm. But. Oh, you click it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Look, it comes with a brush. So pretty. So pretty. Thank you, Valentino. Do that it again. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's some good core work right there. pose that you do Milo what is this pose <laughs> <Gosh. laughs> Lib please are you filming at the meet tomorrow no why maybe I might our jerseys only have H on it okay okay then I can but please look at Milo look at his back legs <laughs> for a walk and then we're gonna head to the gym so I'll see you guys once we get there
And this is my outfit of the day. This set, I have on a set from Gymshark. I think they still have it available, so I'll link it. I've worn it quite a few times. And then I'm just wearing this hoodie from Boohoo. I have on my Lululemon tote. And I'm gonna pull my hair up into a bun in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys my cute little gym set. And then I'm probably gonna work out on these today because something is going on with my ankle. I don't even know, but it hurts. So I'm just gonna work out in some more comfy shoes. And <laughs> look at this one. Mad. What are you mad for? He's rushing me for the walk. All right, let's go. I ran back inside and grabbed my sweatband because my hair appointment is not until Tuesday and it is only Friday. So we gotta <laughs> protect these edges all weekend. And this is just a headband that I like always wear. I'll link some down below. They're only like three or four bucks for a pack of them. And I just like to put these on whenever I come to the gym. I've also been wearing them when I go for my walks because then I can, um, like, I don't have to worry about my edges sweating out. Hold on, I want to... Alright, we're good. No exaggeration, I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up. I was doing 12, 3, 30, but then I was going up to 13. I always like to do that, especially with cardio. Um, I've said this plenty of times on my channel, but I had COVID really bad two times and it scarred my lungs. Like I don't, I don't know. My doctor and I were talking about this and um, trying to see like if it's, gonna be long-term damage i mean i had covid when we were all in quarantine what are we in 2024 that was in like 2020 so that was almost four years ago and my lungs still haven't fully recovered um and then i got it again at the end of last year i think that was it didn't make it any better so sorry i'm like looking for my lip gloss it didn't help that i got it at the end of last year and my lungs just never fully recovered. And so I'm still, oh, I forgot I have this lip gloss. Like whenever I do cardio, I always try to push myself because I'm really trying to build endurance again, but I'm also trying to just like hopefully recover my lungs. I don't know if doing cardio helps, but I know that working out will help. And it's not like I'm a smoker or anything, so I'm not like doing extra damage to my lungs, but I don't know it just sucks i feel like i'm like still trying to recover from the after effects from, of covid is like crazy but anyway workout is done i'm gonna head home so i can take a shower pull myself together for the day it's still 
very early it's not even 11 o'clock yet Leah has a track meet later on today I finished editing my makeup video so I kind of want to get that up I just have to do like a thumbnail put the products in the description box oh shoot I forgot to end my workout whoops yeah put the products in the description box and then either we'll let that go live today or tomorrow morning I'm not sure but then I want to start editing this vlog hopefully have this up by Monday yeah let's head home I want to make myself something to eat too because I feel like I'm gonna pass out it's crazy low-key I I think I'm just gonna have a protein shake. I either want a protein shake or a parfait. <sighs> but anyway, like I said, we're gonna head home, um, pull myself together, do all like all the work stuff that I have to do for the day so I can have that like done for the weekend and then start editing this vlog. I was having some trouble with my um, external hard drive. It has not wanted to connect to my laptop. It's been like disconnecting whenever I try to export footage and it's just been so much of a hassle like I ordered a new US I think it's a USB-C cord that runs from my external hard drive to my laptop I tried um, updating my laptop doing all the techie stuff that it says to do online and on YouTube and nothing seems to be working but I ended up being able to get the footage from my makeup video exported yesterday so fingers crossed that it's not gonna give me any more trouble but kind of like put my website on the back burner which really sucks and i'm actually kind of ashamed that i did that but i'm gonna go home and like do some stuff on my website too and get some things like updated on there so that there can actually be content on there for you guys to view instead of me like telling you guys to go check it out and it's it hasn't been updated in weeks so workout is complete we're getting a really good start this morning i'm super happy about that i have to go home and i think milo well milo had his breakfast so it might be time for him to have his might be time to take milo on another walk so i'm gonna do that and really get the day started so let's go home before i put myself together i wanted to do some skincare i just got out of the shower and i wanted to do some skincare with you guys really quick i wanted to try out the tatcha matcha cleanse i use the tatcha rice water i think i told you guys that already but i use the rice water cleanser i always switch on my cleansers depending on you know how my skin is doing and depending on the season like in the winter i want something more hydrating in the summer i want I like products that are more water-based but i really like that that's like a gel really cleanser Trying to see if it smells like matcha. <laughs> Let me activate it more. Wait, it actually smells like baby shampoo. Tatcha also sent over their water cream. Excuse my though. <laughs> Comes with a little, I always take what's on the lid, like what's on the inside of the little lid and use that. I've already tried their moisturizer before, but I don't know if I've ever tried this one. The one that I used to use is the purple one. This is the perfect moisturizer for summer because it is very lightweight, but also hydrating. I feel like it's water, is it water-based? It has to be, it's called the water cream. So I'm just gonna assume that it's water-based. This is perfect for summer, for sure. It feels so soft and moisturized. <laughs> I'm like looking at this like what's in this now I'm gonna have to switch my moisturizer because I really really like this I didn't even use a serum or anything today I just washed my face and put the moisturizer on kiss you lip mask this one also came with a little um, little scoop thing so i'm gonna just use this up until it's time for me to start getting ready and i'll do my makeup and stuff in a little bit but i've already used this it's really hydrating i like using a lip mask at night so that i can give it time to really penetrate and work but 
that's what it looks like i really love their packaging i'm gonna head down and take my vitamins make my coffee also make myself something to eat really quick and then yeah okay so i just finished getting ready i'm about to head out to leia's track meet i wasn't gonna film her track meet but she asked me if i was so i'm like okay but um she today's friday so she's gonna go with her dad today finally she's been wanting to be home usually she's supposed to go with her dad um she's supposed to go with her dad on the weekends but she's been wanting to be home with her mom but i'm like listen babe mom wants to have a mom weekend <laughs> and i kind of wanted to take milo boy to the pet resort but i'm like i'm not gonna do that because milo has like really bad separation anxiety and i always feel guilty so oh and another thing i did get the call you guys i got the job at the golf club that i went on the interview with or that i went on the interview to in the last vlog they called me today and i got the job so <laughs> yay me <laughs> i'm so excited they said they're gonna send over everything with like the offer letter and all that to my email so i'm waiting on that to come through and then i'm gonna like fill all that out send it back they're gonna do like a little background check and all that i'm like no worries like i'm in the clear <laughs> i'm good on everything so um i should be starting sometime i think toward the end of the month or beginning of next month they said we're gonna do like an orientation and all that so i'll just wait for everything to come in but yeah y'all i got the job ah! I'm so excited. My hair is getting so frizzy. I cannot wait to go and get my hair done. It's not even funny. Like I cannot tame it on my own anymore. I don't care for my outfit today. We're in that like weird, awkward weather stage where it's like sweater and jeans, but you don't really need a jacket. And I feel like I just wear the same, wear the same sweaters like every day. And I'm kind of tired of my wardrobe. I kind of want to get rid of everything and just like re do my closet it sucks because i'm always like oh, okay i need to get rid of a bunch of stuff i get rid of a bunch of stuff and then i'm sick because i'll find like a cute way that i could have worn something that i gave away and i just, just oh, it's ridiculous i don't like to be wasteful so i like to keep my clothes and like take care of my pieces but i'm so tired of all the clothes that i have like i've been trying to put outfits and stuff together and i know i get a lot of questions from you guys saying like do more fashion or do fashion content so i can show you guys like how i put outfits together but honestly i just don't like anything in my closet right now and i think it's because not even that i think it's because i know it's because i'm just not a hundred percent like with my body like me and my body aren't on one accord right now so that's another reason why i'm just like not really wanting to get dressed like that because when i'm snatched up I'm super confident and I want to get dressed but when I'm not I don't really feel like putting no clothes on and like trying to be cute <laughs> so yeah anyway enough about that let me show y'all my outfit what I put together and then we can get out of here also I did a really quick makeup look which I kind of look casket ready or am I tripping sunbathing hello Hello. You're so cute. I feel like I'm always in wide leg jeans, but <laughs> Zara carries these and they're just so cute. So I'm going to put on, uh oh, I'm going to wear my new sunglasses too. These are from Amazon and then I just have on this sweater from Zara and I just sort of tucked it a little bit to give me a little bit of a silhouette. And then I'm just wearing my Louis Vuitton Damier print bag. Um, I'm gonna put on my UGG, my platform Uggs. I think that'll be cute. And yeah, it's the little outfit of the day. I just have it buttoned on one button to keep it like loose. This is kind of cute and I like it. I think it's perfect for track me, you know, like track mom. All right, let's go. <laughs> It's kind of funny how a room full of things feels completely empty. You're not in the wings. How could I have known? 
fortune I would find A peace deep in my bones The beauty day and night And you may Anywhere feel like home Home isn't where we live It's living by the side In every space, and how it makes any place feel like home.